So was this a big mistake by Keir Starmer to block what was a former leader of the Labour Party standing for his seat that he stood for, for and won for 50 years? Yeah, well, I mean, I think it's deeply unfair and I think it is fairly undemocratic. If you've got someone who is a significant figure in public life, who is a former Labour leader, um, then it shouldn't really be up to the leader to say, or the new leader, sorry, to say that that person cannot stand as an MP. And we have a two party system. It's very difficult to have a political voice unless you have it within the Conservatives or the Labour Party. So I do think it matters if people can arbitrarily um, be dismissed from one of those two parties or be told that you cannot stand as a representative. So I, I do think it's concerning. I mean, Keir Starmer thinks that it will help him in the general election. It might, you know, get some people on side. I think it'll also turn off a lot of people because while Corbyn, yes, by the time, by, by the end of his leadership at the Labour Party, he, you know, he wasn't particularly well loved among the general population. There is a significant minority of the population who, I mean, similar to myself, saw that he is someone who had some decent ideas about where to take this country. And so the idea that that part of the Labour coalition has been totally excluded from it, um, I think is, you know, it, it does have a potential to backfire. How, how do you see this, Michael? Do you, I mean, whether you agree with it or not, do you see that this is a matter of, of principle for Keir Starmer because, you know, he, wa he wants to stop Jeremy Corbyn because of the, the damages he sees it that Jeremy Corbyn did to the Labour Party brand and, and, and obviously the, uh, particularly with the allegations around anti-Semitism? Or do you think this is just a matter of political calculation on his part? Well, I mean, he's been quite open about this in the sense that the, the motion that was put to the NEC, so Labour's ruling committee, it didn't mention anything such as anti-Semitism or anything such as that. I mean, it didn't even mention any rules which may or may not have been broken. So all, all it said was that it would be not in Labour's electoral interest to put Jeremy Corbyn up as an MP at the next general election. Therefore, we're going to block him. Now, that seems a little bit arbitrary to me. I mean, I, I didn't really realise that we were sort of excluding people from being MPs on the basis of focus groups or or, or opinion polling. So it, it does seem to me that that is a bit of a, a, a rewriting of, of the Labour Party's rules. Oh, now, oh. I was going to say, what will Jeremy Corbyn do next? Will he say, do you know what, this is my seat, my people, I'm going to stand uh, in my seat, uh, uh, Islington North there, or do you think he will say, well, I'm going to go for the Mayor of London instead? What, what's he going to do next? I think it's quite likely he'll go for Islington North. I mean, he's been an MP there for 40 years and the constituents know him well. He's very well liked in the constituency. So I think he would have a good chance um, of beating whoever Labour put forward in that seat. And apparently there are not many people who want to be put forward in that seat. Um, and I think people from the left of the party, that would be, you know, a, a reasonable outcome. I expect we'll have a Keir Starmer government after the next general election because your lot have destroyed the economy and people are sick of waiting so long on the NHS waiting list. Um, so it, it's quite possible that we get a Keir Starmer minority government even, and then you have independents such as Jeremy Corbyn on the back benches to try and make sure um, that I suppose my part of the coalition still has a voice. Well, talking about my area of Merseyside, who might be deeply upset that Corbyn's gone, could you form a split in the party? Will he form a new party? I was reading that uh, Jeremy Corbyn might think of getting the old band back together and forming a new left, sort of, uh, left, sort of, a uh, further left-leaning party. Uh, I think it's probably unlikely. I mean, I, I think in Islington North, one, he has a good chance of winning because he's so well known there. I think, uh, you know, a, a party to the left of Labour could potentially cost them votes, um, but I don't know if it would get many MPs. And again, I think there are so many people who are so tired of 13 years of Conservative government, of 13 years of austerity, of 13 years of running down the NHS, that while there is a lot of anger on the left at the moment at Keir Starmer for what he has done to Jeremy Corbyn, I don't think people would take a decision which they think could jeopardise a Labour win and therefore allow you know, another five years of, of Tory government, which we can't really afford as a country.